Hello everyone and in today's video we will start sending notifications from one device to another but before that we want to make a small adjustment as you can see I am logged in here as John but I can see John right here and I don't really want that I don't want to be logged in as for example John and be able to see myself and my name included in the users list so to do that so to be able to only show other users instead of me inside the list let's go ahead and go to the users list activity right here and in get all users function inside the on child added so here we are adding the user the users list directly but we can check to see if the user dot id d equals to the firebase instance get current user user id so if the the user that we want to add the list is his id is equal to the current user id we don't really want to continue with the process so let's go ahead and actually let's make it doesn't equal so if it doesn't equal the current user id we will not add it to the list and else it will be added to the list and eventually will be shown in the users list activity let's go ahead and run the application and see the result so now as you can see i am logged in as john right here and i can't see john anymore but in other devices can see john and send the notification so now when i click on this arrow nothing happened so let's go ahead and fix that let's go to the users list adapter and scroll down on bind view holder so now we have the send button and we want to show an alert dialog to the user so he can enter some text and then send it to specific person okay so let's create a builder an alert dialog builder variable alert dialog dot builder and this requires a context to access the context we can access the holder and inside the holder we have the icon view and then we can access the context so to, with this builder we can actually start building the alert dialog so builder dot set title and we will set the title to be send notification notification we also need to set a way to so that the user can enter something and we need to create an edit text right here let's call it message box and it is of type edit text and it's equal to edit text and edit text requires a context that we can get right here so now we have the view we have the view or the body of the builder I can use the builder and set the view and it requires the view and we can send the message box for now so now we have the title we have the view let's go ahead and start creating the positive and negative button for the builder for the alert dialog builder dot set negative button and it requires two things it requires the text and the negative button will be cancel and we don't really need to pass in a listener so we'll pass in null so again let's go ahead and specify the set positive button and here we're gonna call the text the text of the button send and we need to create a click listener that have two things that has a dialog space and have the which or the i we don't really need to actually do we don't really need this but uh, we will need this to dismiss it eventually so when he click set positive button we need to first collect the message entered by the user inside the message box so i'm gonna call a variable val message and it will equal to message box dot text dot to string so now we have the string that the users entered inside the box to make sure everything works fine let's go ahead and toast it for now so this requires the context right here and this is the context right here and then the message and the length of the toast and finally use show to show the the toast so 
after we finished constructing the builder an important step uh, finish constructing the alert dialog an important step is to call builder.show and this is very important so let's go ahead and run the application and see the result so now we have run the application and when i click on this as you can see we have a message box right here we have cancel and we have send so if i hit cancel it will dismiss the dialog and if i type in the message for now like hello and click send we have the toast so we have the alert dialog works perfectly let's start sending the notification to be able to start sending the notification and if you remember in the previous video we created this cloud function and this basically cloud function will be triggered every time that the data is created on this notification node so to be able to do that we need to create a class that will be act as a model class so let's go ahead to to the model package and right click on it new kotlin file or class and make sure class is selected and let's name it notification so go ahead and create it convert it to data class by inserting a prefix data class and data class needs a constructor so when we write to the firebase uh, database and the cloud function gets triggered it collects some data from the snapshot that has been uh, written to this specific location so the snapshot must have a text a receiver id and a title so we must include them inside our notification class because it will represent the snapshot and it should be exactly written like this receiver underscore id title and text let's go ahead and create val so val we have the text of type string then we have val we have the title of type string and finally we have the receiver id of type string so now we have this notification class let's go ahead to users list adapter what we will actually do is to simply create an object of this and write it to firebase and it should start sending the notification so let me create a method right here that will actually send the notification private fun send notification and it will require that we have the title right here and the text which is the body of type string and of course the receiver id receiver id of type string 2 so here instead of showing the toast let's go ahead and call send the notification and the title will be equal to the the title will be equal you have got a message okay and then the text will be the mes the message written in the message box or in the alert dialog by the user the message and finally the receiver id we can get it because we have the user right here so we can call user the user id so now we have these three things are set let's go ahead and start sending the notification let's create a notification it is of type notification and it requires three things it requires the text title and receiver id so let's pass the text the title and the receiver id now we have the object let's go ahead and let's go ahead and write it to firebase database dot get an instance dot get reference so the reference should be the same as here notification with an n capital capital n letter and then we can call push to have a child or create a random id and finally set value notification and of course to make sure everything works let's add an incomplete listener that have a lambda parameter we can check this lambda parameter to see if it's successful the task is successful then the message has been sent let's go ahead and create a toast and to create a toast we need a context so let's go ahead here and add a context right here this is a context we have the context and let's add it to the function signature so we're going to call it context of type context so now let's create the toast right here and it requires a context and the message will be called message sent and then we will need the length of the toast 
and finally we need to show it else if the task is not successful we will we will say message didn't send okay so now let's go ahead and run the application so now if everything is great we can start sending the notification so let me just uh, minimize this or close it so it is in the background and from here let's go to select join and i will send a message hi john how are you okay so let's click send and it is everything is great we should be received the notification and as you can see we have the notification right here so everything works perfectly but now of course when we click on it nothing happened and uh, another problem that we will fix in the next video is the user open the app or the app is in the foreground we can't receive the notification so hi there let's send another message to john and click send so the message has been sent but as you can see we didn't receive anything because the app is in the foreground and we will fix that in the next video but for now sending the notification actually works thanks for watching if you like the video hit like and subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification and of course, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave me in the video comments. I will answer it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.